met artists and been on many trips to galleries, including the MPG. But my greatest experience by far has been, a young being, has been being a young curator. I, along with two other girls, Kat and Charlotte, have helped put up the Writers of Influence exhibition. It has been an amazing and unforgettable experience, and from it I have taken away wonderful memories, a great sense of achievement, and a great deal of knowledge. I have had the chance to work with some very interesting people who have an obvious passion for art. I feel very privileged to have had this opportunity. I now have a much better understanding of art and my appreciation for art exhibitions has increased greatly as I am now fully aware of the hard work and thought that goes into them. I think that getting young people, such as myself, involved with art exhibitions is very important because we are able to put a fresh and different perspective on things so that the outcome is more appealing to younger audience. For example, with the Writers of Influence exhibition, I was pretty adamant that, I, that it wouldn't be in chronological order, as I found that having the art in a chronological order was much too traditional. I also believe that the whole experience is very valuable, especially for aspiring curators or even artists. Personally, I found that I'm now much more certain of, what my future career, of my future career now. I would love to take part in something like this again, and I hope that other young people get the opportunity to. in the gallery tonight. Um, there's going to be a creative workshop led by our gallery's learning manager at 7.30, um, exploring some of the skills re um, required to design, curate and construct an exhibition. And everybody's welcome to attend that. Um, there's some details in your bags about how you, how you, um, where you meet for that. Um, there are computers. We've got a, a range of computers in our studio gallery just next door. So um, please do, if you, if you haven't had a chance to look at the site, then do go and have a look and play on those, and um, if you've got time to do that now, that they're there for you. Um, there's also, in that space, there's the opportunity to see another youth engagement project called Chasing Mirrors, um, where young people have been working with an artist, Alina Adaze. And so that's just all next door that way. Um, drinks tickets can be exchanged in the bar in, in the bookshop gallery where you had to drink before you came in, so, so do make use of those. And um, there are people who've been involved in the project, um, like our young curators and, and our colleagues from Attic Media and all of our partner gallery um, staff. They've all got um, badges, name badges on, so if you want to know anything and we haven't told you about it, then feel free to go and talk to, to anybody there and we'll all be in the bar area. Um, also, um, there's live jazz, drawing workshops and gallery talks upstairs and that's all part of our late night at, um, on a Thursday that we hold regularly at the, at the National Portrait Gallery. Um, so if you need any help in finding any of those things that I've just mentioned, then we have visitor services assistants who'd be really happy to just tell you where to go or, or what, what you need to find. And um, I think the main thing um, is to say a huge thank you, especially to our young people, our colleagues from Attic Media, our partner galleries. It's been, we've really enjoyed working with everybody and um, thanks very much indeed to you all for coming.